The coring tab is still intact, and I do not see any printings of any kind. Well, there's n no sign of any other printings on this either other than this. Former rental from Vernonia Video Express. Used movie sale. Now nine ninety five. Former rental from Video Country in Seaside, Oregon. I could see some kind of printing. The rest of it's kind of worn off, though. All I see is a zero. Unless maybe the rest of the printings are worn off. I don't know. No print date. And no printings of any kind either. Duplicated in LP mode. Yeah. And no print date on this one either. This one is a former rental from some unknown store. From some unknown rental store. And there would be a print date on this, but I tried peeling back the hologram to see if I could find one, but little did I know it's probably going to just end up being ruined. So, I'm not even going to try any further. November 7th, 1990. Former rental from some unknown store. As you can tell from the Be Kind Please Rewind sticker. October 11th, 
21st century video in Vernonia, Oregon. December 28, 1992. And former rental from an unknown store. But, however, it's damaged at the beginning, as you can see there. Yeah, it does not look pretty. That's so sad. EP mode version. November 12th, 1993. I haven't checked the end of this yet, but I'd be willing to bet there's something after the static on the end of this tape. Number 21 and 28th week in 1995. It says, a naked in every stake, calling all curs, and pop goes the easel. From 1941, 1939, and Icon pictures. That's cool. Three hundred forty-eight day in nineteen ninety-seven. If you know what the part date is, you can let me know in the comments below. This has lights out, the rats who came to dinner, and no rabbits of fortress. August 10th, 1999, and number 44. Australian DVD. Nineteen forty three film renewed nineteen seventy one. Not rated in the US, rated PG in Canada. And rated G in Quebec. And it's in an eco case. And another eco case.
Ego Case.